What is up everybody, this is Black Stories. Today I'm going to be making a video about the Skills Awakening system. This Awakening system is very new, it came out at Season 3 Episode 1. So I'm here to explain how this works for everyone, including the new players. In my inventory you see these Awakening Stones. These Awakening Stones will improve your skills. And these 5 Awakening Stones come with different stats. So this one comes with a damage booster. This one is for stamina consumption, which is uh, at least in my list. This stone is for reducing your cooldown skills. This is an efficient SP stone. It reduces the SP consumption. And finally, this is the knockdown rate for your skills. Every different stone has a different ranking. So if you do have a lower rank and you plan to sell it, don't. You want to use those awakening stones to restore your awakening skills, your awakening abilities. Now I got the fundamentals out of the way, let's awaken black skills. Yay! You go to Dianan to awaken your skills, along with crafting your gear. So let's go to skill awakening. There's two options for you here. You could awaken your skills or you could restore your skills. So we are going to awaken our skills right now. We only got a few skills. So there's attacks for staff EV. So as you can see, there's a lot I haven't awakened. Oh my goodness, restoring is going to be a hell of a time. I could tell you that for sure. Here is Scythe EV. I only awakened a few skills. And Bloody Thread failed me. <laughs> well, the stone did. They said that there's going to be nasty effects if you have a fail on one of your skills. So far, I didn't really see a real difference. Maybe it reduced my uh, attack on Bloody Thread just a little, but I couldn't really tell. But for sure, I'm going to try my best to put on that stone again. Sadly, you can't put any stone that is different or that is lower than on what you have if you already awaken your skills. Maybe later on in the future, they'll have some sort of way for you to replace or a different awakening stone for your skills if you made a mistake or you didn't want that awakening skills in the first place. So you have to be careful right now if you want to put on your awakening skills. Now, using the right stones for your skills is a bit difficult, I know. And like I said, you guys, you gotta be careful. However, from my opinion, and don't take my word for it, boost attack skills are better for smash attack skills. And for SP skills, it would be better for you to reduce your SP skills or your cooldown. As for knockdowns and stamina reduce, eh, that's just me, but that is up to you to decide what you want to do with your skills. Oh look, we got something at the ultimate objective event. Good job, you guys. At least for West. Good job, you guys, on West server. Hope you guys do finish it. I don't know how East server is doing, but um, good job for you guys as well on East. I shall visit you guys on East server later on. I don't know when, but hopefully someday, anytime soon, when I'm done. Alright, so let's start with the Insane Reaper with the rank C, Awakened Stone. Make sure you read the dialogue on your skills, just to make sure if it would be better for you to put in cooldown or put in efficiency for your uh, SP skills to reduce your SP for that skill. Alright, so it doesn't matter what kind of earth crystals you put it in, as long as you pray for Diana to succeed your skills. Uh, other than that, there is no other way around it. It doesn't matter what kind of earth crystals you put in, like I said. All that matters is that you put it up to 45%. So you are going to need a lot of air crystals and you are going to need a lot of awakening stones. This absolutely includes the rank B stones, which is a pain in the ass to put in. Rank B awakening stones are at least up to 40% that you have to succeed. It's just like enchanting a rank 8 scroll with Bran. I like to call Bran Brian. So I know some of you guys want me to correct my how I pronounce his name, but I call him Brand for a reason. So, <laughs> anyways, let's start this up. All right, so it failed, and that's a rank C stone. Since it failed, you cannot put in any other stones. You're gonna have to use the same stone in order to proceed or even something the same stone but something higher than that also so we're gonna be using their same rank c stone like i said again you guys 
choose any ergs you want it doesn't matter what kind of ergs you use it won't increase your chances of succeeding it just it, these ergs are just ergs for you to uh, use for your awakening skills and you need a lot of these ergs I think they just didn't know what to do with these ergs in the game so they just you know here it is put it all and flush it down in the awakening system so let's try it see if it succeeds and it fails yay so we are going to try it again I really don't like this but it is what it is right I'm gonna run out of earth crystals in no time and th at this rate and this we're still at doing a Saint Reaper Great! It succeed. So, post your comments down below and tell me what you think about this new awakening system and tell me your experience on how you handle this and what you put in, in your skills if you like. Right now let's check out restoring our skills. Restoring your skills is a piece of cake. All you have to do is farm up some extra stones on the side. I do recommend some rank Fs and rank D. If you could just save them up and restore your skills altogether, it doesn't matter what type of uh, stone you use, you could use them for restoration of your abilities or of your skills abilities. Like I said, you guys, restoring your awakened skill is pretty easy to do. You just need to farm a lot of stones and you should be good on restoring your skills. If you have all your skills awakened, however, um, wow. Uh, Congratulations to you, but you are going to have to farm a lot of stones in order to keep up with your restoration. I'm not sure if these awakened skills are active in PvP mode. If someone could confirm this for me and it does affect in PvP mode, this will be very interesting for the PvP players. And I believe the PvP players are going to have fun with this awakening system instead of just relying on PvE instead. So if anyone could confirm this, such as uh, using a SP skill for a cooldown, if the cooldown is actually the same when you use it in PvE mode, please let me know if it's the same in PvP mode. So I would love to hear from you guys if you guys could experiment this and uh, let me know in the comments down below. Share your thoughts. What do you think about the new restoration system? Do you like it? Do you think you're going to have to farm a lot of stones in order to keep up if you awaken all your all your skills do you recommend for the new players or even for everyone to awaken all your skills or not i would love to hear your thoughts on that thank you guys for watching if you have been watching for this long like this video if you really do like it share this video to your friends it might help them as well and subscribe if you are new i'll hear from you guys next time peace out you guys i hope to hear from you guys soon and take care ciao